Well, Dr. Ray Matlack is here, and it's always fun whenever you come, but you have a little cute, big eyes, big, <laughs> but it's not so cute. Uh, well, it's it's a rat, and people oh. generally, as soon as you hear a rat, people don't don't like the no. rat. But, but this rat is is one that doesn't really cause any problems for people um, on, on any kind of a big scale okay. uh, by any stretch. There are rats that get into barns, that cause problems for farmers sure. and get into agricultural fields. Um, those are Norway rats. Oh. This, is, this is a hispid cotton rat um, and it's one that doesn't really come indoors I've never heard of a, an, an example of it coming indoors they get pretty big almost up to about a half a pound for the males the females are a little smaller um, their populations I've seen them around here explode to where their numbers get really? so high that they're they're getting hit on the roads and I'm getting phone calls asking me <laughs> about these mice sure um, or rats small you know small rats um, but again it's that happens when we get good precipitation and we have good grass and um, these things feed primarily on on plants um, maybe a little bit of insects and things like that but mostly on plants and mostly on um, just the, the the foliage part of the plant which really? is not that common with look at with him rodents. see they are cute they've got but that tail yeah the tail is still a rat like tail and that's what gets most people. <laughs> and if he had a little bunny tail, though, he'd be a, he'd be a fan. Uh, people would like him. But um, they're out day and night. Um, one thing that you'll find where their numbers get very large is you'll, you'll tend to get a big eruption of, of um, hawks and owls coming in oh, to feed on okay. them. So it's, I always tell people that cotton rats were, you know, they're, they're, they're here to be eaten, basically. Their life expectancy, I found a study that said that their life expectancy rarely exceeds two months from the time of, that you capture them. Um, but they reproduce very quickly and they reproduce a lot. So cute. Doc, love it whenever you come and give us some, some good info. <laughs> Tell us, where else can we find you? We see you right here on News Channel 10, but I know WT and y'all are uh, out yeah, everywhere. Yeah, I teach wildlife at WT, of course. Um, TexasWild.me okay. is our blog. Okay. And you can find everything from, from there. But don't forget, Channel 10, we have all sure. these on Facebook as well. That's right. Okay, yep. thanks so much. Always fun. Some good information. Thanks for having I'm me. ready for some more snakes and bats. Okay, as it warms up. Boy, not many right now. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> West Texas Wild, y'all.